In this video, I'm going to be scripting your funny Python ideas, and uh, I only have five hours to do it, and I have no idea how to do any of them. So uh, let's get started. All right, so these are the ideas. We have the anti-procrastinator, the self-destructor script, and we have the lazy boy high schooler student thing. I named these myself, but these are your ideas. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's so stupid of me to think that I'm gonna get this done in five hours. I uh, One of these ideas might might as well take me five hours. So we're, we're gonna see, but I'm gonna try my best. Start with the self-destructor script. All right, so now we have the first script done, and this is essentially the self-destructor. It will self-destruct everything on our computer if we don't type in the correct password. So let's say that we're here, we're just browsing YouTube, Cal Holden, and we're just watching some videos. And on our computer, we have some files that we don't want anyone else to be able to see or be able to access. So then what it will do is that every 24 hours you can set it to run so that it will pop up with this little window here. And if you don't type in the correct password, it will basically just delete all your files. So we're going to just type in the password and now we're safe. It's not going to delete all of our files, but if someone else is at our computer and they've stolen it or something like that, if they don't type in the correct password, then it will just delete all the files on our computer, which means that they won't be able to have access to any of that stuff. So now let's just wait for it to run. I've set it to run every minute, but in reality, you'd probably have it run every hour or every 24 hours or something like that so that you can actually get some work done without having to type in the password all the time. But now this pops up. And now if we don't type in the correct password within 30 seconds, then it will basically just go ahead and delete all of our files on our computer. All right, so let's see what happened there. It basically deleted everything. Report a problem, Ubuntu is ready. All right, let's see what happened. All right, so I tried to restart the uh, computer now with the virtual machine, really. And uh, it basically won't restart because we've deleted everything. So uh, yeah, this uh, is something that you can use if you want to. If it doesn't really make sense, unless you want to like super protect yourself against someone potentially stealing your stuff. Okay, so I know that not all of you guys actually care about the explanations of the code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed that part up so that you don't have to watch it for that long. It'll be over in just a few seconds. But if you do want to watch it, you can slow the clip down over here somewhere to 25% speed. And that way you'll be able to understand what it is that I'm actually saying. And if you don't want to watch it, it'll be over in just a few seconds. So I hope that this kind of caters to both types of people. And um, yeah, it's just an experiment. We'll see. So now it's been five hours and I've just basically finished one of the scripts. I'm very close to finishing the anti-procrastinator script as well. But now my cousin who I'm going to go to the gym with, which is basically my deadline, just called me and uh, I asked if I could get another hour. So I'm going to try to get this anti-procrastinator done in the next hour. But first I need to get something to eat. So while I'm doing that, if you're interested in these things that I'm doing and building and working on on this channel or anything like computer science related, then I highly recommend checking out Brilliant. Personally, I think that Brilliant is the best platform out there for learning about computer science. They have a full course that will teach you Python and many other interactive courses ranging from algorithms to cryptocurrency. So I highly recommend checking them out. And I'm really happy to tell you that because of this year long relationship that I've had with Brilliant as a sponsor for this channel, 
If you click the link in the video description, you will get to try Brilliant for free, completely free. And you will also get a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So definitely go check that out because you can test it out completely free, which is awesome. And I'm super happy to be able to offer you guys this. And they have so many different courses. Personally, I'm going through their course on neural networks at the moment. So they do have courses, even if you're not a beginner. It's really brilliant. I mean, that's what it is. It's, that's why it's called that. So yeah, just sign up for it. Remember, you can try it out completely free and you can get a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So check it out. And thanks again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. All right, now I have some lunch. Now I can keep continuing. Hopefully I'll be able to get this done in the next like 20 minutes. That's about the time that I have for it. But yeah, now I'm in a big rush, so I need to just get dressed and go to the gym. All right, so this is actually the day after because I didn't have time to finish this script yesterday, but this is idea number two, which is the anti-procrastinator. And this idea is essentially that anytime you open up a certain website that you feel like you'll end up procrastinating on, it should basically just shut down the entire computer so that you can't procrastinate. Uh, great idea, right? So uh, now it's gonna check every about every minute. That's what I've set the cron job to do. And that was the thing that didn't work yesterday. I didn't get the cron job to actually shut down the computer, but now it works. So now if we go to YouTube, it should basically just shut down the entire computer in a little bit because it will check every so often. All right, there you go. It basically just shut down the entire computer. So that now works, uh, which is great. All right, this is the day after, and uh, I didn't get it done in five hours yesterday, but now we only have one left, which is the hardest one, which is gonna be the lazy boy student, high schooler, th I don't know what I named it, but that's gonna be the hardest one, and that's what I'm gonna start with right now. All right, so now I think that I'm done with this lazy boy high schooler thing that I'm calling it. What this will do is basically it will take notes for us in class. So the idea is essentially that we can run this script. If we go down here, we'll run it python lazyboy.py. And now if I talk into this mic for a little bit, it should record what I'm saying and it should turn that into a note. Is that that it's done and now we'll cancel and then we'll go open up the notepad.json because it'll basically save all the notes to a JSON file. So as you can see here, lazy boy pie. And now if I talk into this mic for a little bit, it should record what I'm saying and it should turn that into a little note. So it seems to be working. So this could then be something where you just basically you get into class and you just turn this on and it will automatically be just taking notes for you without you actually having to worry about it. Which I thought was kind of a funny and sort of maybe a good idea actually to just have this running so that you can get like a transcript of your classes as you're listening to them. All right, so those are three of the best ideas that I found from you guys uh, that I thought were interesting to kind of build. So feel free to let me know if you have any more ideas because I'd love to continue the series and make even more of these videos where I make your ideas. So leave comments down below if you have any ideas that you want me to try. 
And this video is based on the concept that the Dev King actually came up with. So go watch his videos as well if you want to see what inspired this uh, idea for a video. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.